Hi, in this video I want to take a look at the uh, Node-RED start files and those are the files that are used when we start up Node-RED and in the video we'll be starting Node-RED from the command line and we're going to see what happens when you start Node-RED we're going to look at what files it uses and where those files are located and I'm going to show you something that I find very very useful is how to run multiple instances of Node-RED on the same machine now there are two important files we're going to look at and one is the settings.js file and the other one is the flows file and there's an important folder and that's the .node-red folder and that's where all these files are located and that is located in the, the user home directory and we'll see that when we look at the examples. The settings file lets you configure such things as security, it you can configure flow files, in other words you can uh, use a different flow file than the default. You can set the admin and user interface ports, so rather than using the default port of 1880 you can use another port. And here is a settings file, I'll just take you through it very quickly, not in any detail, just to show you what it looks like. Now I'm using a Windows machine to demonstrate this and the settings file is located under the user direct use sorry the user home directory which is Steve under the .node red folder and that's also standard on Linux as well that's where you find it on Linux and here is the settings file here so if we just open this up you can see most of it's commented out and here you can start it using a different port number this is the default port number 1880 so you, if you wanted to use a different port number you just edit this if you wanted to use a different flows file you would just uncomment this here and change the name of the flow file here to whatever flow file you were using but there are different ways of doing that you can do all those things from the command line and I'm going to show you how to start node red using a different port number and a different uh, flow file or from the command line without editing the settings file. You can have uh, settings files in different locations and if you do have that then there is a priority order and the first priority is given to the command line option so if you start red using node red minus s and the name of the settings file that has priority you can also start node red using the minus u option which is the user directory option and if there's a settings file in there it will use that now the third the option is the user's home directory and that is normally where the settings file will be would be located uh, on linux machines there is a default settings file installed in that location there user lab lib node modules node red this this is on a raspberry pi uh, it might be different on um, your version of linux and if you start node red on a linux machine without a settings file in the home directory it actually copies the default settings file into the user's home directory if you do the same on windows it gives an error message and it stops the load process so you need to have a settings file in the home directory on windows for the for node red to start okay so that's the the settings file so now let's have a look at the uh, the flows file so the flows file contains all of your workspace all the nodes from your workspace and you can have multiple flow files but the default flow file is named after the, your machine or your computer name and in my case I'm on the Windows machine and it's called flows underscore WS6 WS6 is the name of my machine dot JSON so let's have a look what happens when we start node red so here I've started node red I've actually started it in the test directory and I've just called node red you don't have to be in the dot node red directory to start node red and you can see what files it's used. I haven't used any command line options. I haven't used the minus s, s or the minus u option. And you can see here it's picked up the settings file from the .node red folder under the Steve home directory. It's set the users directory to the .node red folder, which we'd expect. And it's picked up the flows uh, file from the .node red folder, and it's called flows underscore ws6.json. Now if that flows files doesn't exist it will create it. So let's take a look at running node red and look at the effects of the different files. And here I'm in the .node red directory of the uh, Steve home folder and this is on a, on a Windows machine. It looks the same on a, a Linux machine. And 
you can see here there's the default flows file it's got uh, underscore ws6 which is the name of this computer you'll notice also there are several other flows files in here there's actually a backup of this you can see it here it is here it's just got a dot backup extension on there and you can see other flow files here which I, i've also created and i'm going to show you uh, how we use them just a quick note about the backup files what it is is when you deploy when you're in the interface and you deploy the uh, the flow it actually creates a backup uh, which is basically the last flow bef uh, before you deploy it so if you do make a mistake you can always go back to the backup and you can recover it if you deploy it twice then your backup is also overwritten so you have to have discovered your mistake before you've deployed it for a second time uh, you'll also find actually uh, credentials uh, back up here you can see it here and these is this stores your um, login details if any of your nodes requires a, a, a username and password type thing then they're stored in there now if you want to move your flows to a, another machine uh, you should ideally move the flows dot flows underscore cred file the backup file and the the flows file which is this one here but you can get away with just using this one if you use this just that one it will work uh, you don't actually need the backup and you don't actually need the cred file you you will have to enter any login details into the nodes on the new machine if you haven't got the cred file uh, but you certainly don't need the backup on the on the new machine so a very easy way of moving your flow all your flows to one machine is just to copy the flows file this one here so let's just move to the command line and i'm in the node red directory and if i just do, do node red minus h and look what the commands are available in node red you can see here the different switches the minus p which is the port switch which we're going to use to start the admin interface on a different port the minus s switch which lets us load a different settings file uh, the minus u which we're not going to use which gives us a different user directory uh, verbose for verbose mode and here the minus help or the question mark for the help screen so to start node red normally all i really need to do is just go node red and i don't need any command line switches and that will start and it will use the settings file located in the home directory and it will use the default flows file and we'll see that when it loads up here okay so you can see here there's the settings file that it's used and there's the user directory and here's the flows file the one that's used it's using the default flows file which was what we expected now if we look at that in the browser we're on port on the default port which is 1880 here are my flows and i'm just going to show you the effects of uh, deploying this and what happens to the the, the files uh, so all i need to do is just drag one of these nodes over so i get the deploy icon there and let's take a look at the files before we do this and you can see here the flows main flows file here updated on the 5th of feb 11 14 and there's the backup here which is on the 4th of feb um, 7 54 pm so now we do a deploy and let's go back and look at the files again and there you can see here's the flows file here updated at this time at 1116 and you can see the backup file here updated feb the 5th this time 1114 in other words this one got renamed into the backup and it created a new flows file when i de deployed it so if i de go back and edit again and deploy it again this one will get moved into the backup file the backup file gets overwritten and a new flows file will be created with the the latest flows in there okay so now we're back at the command line i'm on a different command prompt um, because i want to show you how we'd run two instances of node red now i can just do this and run a second instance the, remember the other one's still running uh, but if i do that it will try and start on the same port 
as the other one and it will fail and I'll just show you that quickly and you can see here it's got an error port in use so it won't load so to overcome that I can just use the minus P option and give it a different port number and this will load node red and it will load correctly but it will use a different port so I'll be able to access the the admin interface the the nodes using that port now the problem with that if I do that is that both of those instances will be using the same flows file so if I edit any of those they will both be edited in the same flows file which is very confusing so normally when you do this you don't use the same flows file you want to use a separate flows file so to do that I can just pass in the name of the flows file I want to use so this is the flows file I'm going to use it's called main flows and it contains different flows that are in the default flow so let's use that one so we can see it started it's running on 88, 1888 and user directory is the same the settings file is the same but the flows file this time is main flows so let's go and connect to this in the browser let's change the port and you can see here there's the first flow here is called sensors it's different from this one here it's called simple sensor flow 3 so you can see we're looking at different flows now there is a, another gotcha here that uh, you should be aware of that if you're using nodes and this one's got MQTT nodes and if you're using MQTT nodes in here and you're using the same client ID uh, to connect to them then you'll have a conflict so even though they're running two separate instances you could have conflicted nodes in there so you have to be careful when you when you do this but I do this quite frequently for testing different flows out for different people and I find it very very useful thing to be able to do to run multiple instance, instances of node red on the same machine now if I didn't want to use those command line switches every time I started node red uh, then what I could do is create a copy of the settings file and just rename it we call it settings main because we're going to use the main flows and then I just edit this file here but not in notepad and I need to change the port number which is at the top here which I 8088 and I need to go down and change the flows file which is here so I remove that and it's called main flows and I just save that now we need to stop that flow from running and now we'll start it again but this time we'll use the minus s switch and the different settings file and now you can see it's running on 80, 1888 it's using the settings file here and it's using the main flow main flows file here which is what we expected so two ways of actually starting a different flow on the same machine one using the settings file and the other one using command line switches okay so that brings us to the end of the video if you've got any comments on the video then please leave them below if you like the video then you can use the like button below and if you want to be notified of new videos on the channel you can always subscribe and if you are using social media and like to share it then please feel free until next time goodbye